Hey everybody, Cameron Porter with Robin Hood Studios. We're gonna talk about 4K. What does it mean? What does it not mean? Here we go. 4K. Quick apology, where our background looks a bit different because we're trying out a new wide angle lens and we love it so far, but it looks different for that reason. So, 4K. What does it mean? What does it not mean? So now many people, they hear 4K, like a camera shoots 4K, and they assume that that means that that camera is therefore high quality. That is not a safe assumption to make. 4K is but one of many different measurements of a camera's capabilities. So what 4K actually is, is the reference to specifically the resolution of the camera sensor. Now you're familiar with the, fir the term HD, full HD, 1920 by 1080. That means there are 19, on the sensor, so if this were the sensor, there'd be 1920 pixels across, 1080, 1080 down. On a 4K Ultra HD sensor, there's 3840 across and 2160 down. So it's literally double in both directions, which means overall it's four times the number of pixels as a full HD sensor. What you would have is sharper video. You'd have crisper details. So, uh, you know, you can see the details in my hair. For the most part, you can see, you know, the hairs on my arm, most likely. We're shooting wide open on a 7.5 millimeter lens, so maybe you can't, but uh, you're seeing hairs, you're seeing a lot of details, and this is actually only HD. If we were shooting this in 4K, you'd theoretically be able to see more of those details. What 4K does not mean is that the color science on the camera is superior. It does not mean that the dynamic range is, is high quality. Dynamic range, that's a topic for another video. Don't worry about it now, but it's a very important indicator of the quality of a sensor. Cinema cameras have a lot of dynamic range. Smartphone cameras have very little dynamic range, a lot of them because they shoot 4K on a tiny sensor. So 4K doesn't have anything to do with uh, the bit depth how many bits per color channel are available to capture the data. It doesn't have anything to do with the codec that is used. It has nothing to do with how compressed the video is. It has nothing to do with, uh, no, that's pretty much it. <laughs> do you need to shoot in 4K now? No, nobody really is delivering in 4K. The exception being Netflix. Netflix requires 4K delivery for all of their Netflix originals. So if you're producing an orig original content for Netflix, yes you need to shoot 4K. Otherwise, in basically any other scenario, you do not need to deliver in 4K. Why? Your eyes have to be physically very, very close to a screen, relatively speaking, in order to even see a difference. Uh, for example, on a smartphone screen, which over 60% of YouTube content is now consumed on smartphones, uh, on a smartphone screen, you would literally have to be like right here to see the difference between 4K and regular old full HD. And that's not me talking, that's actually, there have been studies in, you know, on human eyes sensitivity and the distance thereof. On a laptop screen, you know, you can be a little bit further. If you're, if you're on a you know, 13 inch laptop screen, you gotta be like right here. So a little bit further, right? A little bit further. And then of course on a big TV, you can be a little bit further away. But regardless, I mean, the si as the size of the screen gets bigger, you generally wanna be further away. You need to be further away uh, in order to have a pleasant viewing experience. So there are very few scenarios in which shooting in 4K and delivering, I should say, delivering in 4K is really necessary. And I know YouTube supports 4K streaming, and that's fine, but the majority of people actually don't even have internet speeds strong enough to support consistent 4K streaming yet. And that's gonna change, it's gonna change rapidly. Technology increases, technology improves, but full HD is gonna look great, imperceptible <laughs> from 4K for probably still five or six years, I would say. So do you need to shoot 4K? No. So if you have any other questions about 4K resolution, full HD, uh, standard definition, what all those things mean, let us know in the comments. I'd love to answer them for you. Thanks, we'll see you next week.